What's up guys, this is David from How To Ghost, and today I'm gonna show you how to set up and use SAS with your ghost theme. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is to install SAS. We'll have a link for that in the description below. Uh, it's just a link to their documentation, so you can install it on whatever platform you're using. And then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna open up your actual theme files. So I have a default Casper theme running right here. That's what I'm gonna be editing. So I have my Casper files right here. The first thing we want to do is we want to create a new SAS folder inside of assets. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder, call it SAS. And then inside SAS, I'm going to create another new folder called layouts. Now the root of SAS is where our import file is going to go. And inside layouts is where the actual style that we're going to make is going to go. Now the folder structure and everything like that is totally up to you. Uh, we're just doing it this way for the video and it's kind of similar to how we use it with our themes. So. After we've made these, what we need to do is actually make the SAS files. So we'll open up a text editor, create a new file, and call this import.scss for import.sass. And then another new file that we want to make called index.scss. And we're going to put this in the layouts because we're going to be changing something on the home page. So that's why it's index. So now I have two new files, the import and the index. So now in the index, I'm just going to make a quick and easy change, and I'm going to change the background that's behind the posts on the home page. So, dot site wrapper, background color, gray. So now that we've made this, and obviously you'll have a lot more changes than this, in the import file we need to import this index SAS file we made. So do at import, and then index, and that's it. Oh wait, I'm sorry. It's layouts slash index because it's in the actual layouts folder. So from the import file is in layouts index. So now we need to actually run the SAS command to build the CSS file. So you're gonna go over to terminal, which is where you've you know installed SAS or whatever. So then you're gonna do the SAS, and then since we're already in the Casper folder, I'm gonna do SAS assets the new SAS folder we made, and then import. And then where we want to put the CSS file is assets, CSS, and I'm going to call it style.css. So now it just took all that CSS and then built a new CSS file called style in the CSS folder. So now obviously if we had more stuff in import, it would put everything into one file for you. So now if you see, if we go to assets, CSS, there is a new style.css with our uh, CSS in it. So now what we need to do is we need to actually include this CSS file all around Ghost. So I'm just going to copy this one because it's almost exactly the same, paste it in, and change this to style because that's what we called it. And now so we're including the new CSS file that SAS built. So now we're going to go ahead and stop Ghost, start Ghost. And now if we restart the home page, we should see this turn gray. And we do. That's good. That means I spelled everything right. So that's it. I mean, from here, you can really do a whole lot of things with SAS. Uh, you can add a bunch of different files, a bunch of different folders, and kind of partial all your code in that way, and then only include one file that has everything in it. But you can have a little bit of a better back-end handle on where everything is. Um, like I said, from here, you can kind of go wherever you want. Uh, so that's it for this week. Uh, we'll have, we have new videos every Wednesday, so definitely feel free to subscribe if you'd like. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.